Samantha? Oh, it's you! Just Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. Cursed? He's ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. Ew. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. That's awful. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof, his feet transfigured into beets. That's funny. <laughs> he deserved it. If I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Of course. I mean, Samantha is, it reminds me of like a big sister kind of vibe, like something I would definitely, a response I would have for my brother. I so. can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for As you. a sister oh, with a thank brother. Thank you. I will thank help. you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. Okay. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Easy enough. Thank you for your help. But, um, my family is indebted to you. Where the heck? Professor Garlic. Perhaps I'll. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Aww. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipendo? Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. I love her so much. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. All right. Wonderfully done. If you'd like. Flipendo. Greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Flipendo. <laughs> You're a natural. Nice. All right. We got everything except Bombarda, Transformation, and obviously the last two deadly curses. I believe is Imperio and Avada Kedavra, right? Yep. I said it backwards, but you know, you get it. Does that mean I have more quests from teachers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to rescue a Daracol and a giant purple to toad with my knapsack. Where the fuck would I even find that? Would it give me locations for them? Oh, it does. 
All the way over here? Holy hell. Um. Shit. I mean, it's an important quest because it's going to help me with the obvious pride transformation or something. Um, but it's quite far away. <laughs> Let me at least accept the quests that, that are around here first. Summoner- Oh, Summoner's Court? Fuck. I hate this game. <laughs> I don't like Summoner's Court at all. The dueling one was way more fun. Samantha again. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Okay. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Accio! I was like, what's different? And then I see it. What was I thinking? Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um. Oh shit, I don't have my Akio on. Oops. No, it's this. Oh, okay. Akio. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. You'll have to do better than that. Oh, shut up, Samantha. Akio. You're in the same position. Okay, I'm just gonna copy her, but with this ball over here. Yes! <laughs> uh, oh, it's stuck. Now, if I somehow land a 50, I would instantly win. Yeah. Stay, 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 stay. Nice, easy. That was sensational. That settles it, then. <laughs> <laughs> she said it with such anger. Nice, the first time I won in one match. Nice. After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought hey, I could beat fuck? you. Appears I overestimated myself. How dare you? You underestimated me. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting <gasps> spirit. That guy is freezing you. in the back. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Okay, thank you. Side. Quest is like 18. Jeez. Um, I meant to open the map. Alright, at least that one's fairly quick. What's this one? The Hall of Her Hero Dina. Don't know who that is. That we're helping. Or the Hall. <laughs> I think he was hungry. More like he doesn't like you. Balthasar loves me. I'm his best friend. Thing. We haven't pet a cat in a while. If Weasley had seen them, they'd soon be out. Could have started a fire. And I'm afraid I'm not natural at the freezing spell. Yes, I've seen you cast Glacius. Oh. As if a snowman has the hiccups. Thank you. I've seen your slowing charm, and the victim could outpace the Thestral. No need to be like that. Anyway, you're flirting. practicing with matches. Uh, hence the aforementioned threat of fire. You guys are flirting? Sure In front of my face? <laughs> can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. Hello. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. You're adorable looking. Are you looking. familiar with Herodiana Byrne? Uh, don't answer that. No. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. Okay, at least you know. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. It's not... Okay. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. 
And you're a third year, so... A quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. Yes. I would love to see it. Me too, what would is Would you it? get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Yeah, hell yeah, well then, uh, yeah. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Oh, that's a fairly easy quest. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Did I already pet this kitty? It was running I suppose to me. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told huh. me about. I think I already it pet this one. sound interesting. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Quiet! Whenever I hear from Hogwarts, it's to tell me my child has broken school rules again! I'd like to learn that you're receiving. I've never seen a halo before. But no! What did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> you are ungrateful, ungraceful, and frankly unacademic. Holy shit. I am ashamed. Triple use. <laughs> Holy shit. What is this? I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that oh, ominous. Never again. Oh, you look so cute over here. Luke and Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle. You were watching me? Oh my god. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Hey, shut up, Ominous. I'm trying my best. What will we classify Don't Ominous as? Don't get too says. cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. Oh my. He never backs down from a fight. Oh my god, okay. You're literally the enemy lovers. <laughs> Okay, uh, fine. Oh, the postal. Where, where's my postal? Not on my thing, of course. Okay. I was gonna say you see nothing ominous, but he, he, he physically can't. <laughs> this must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodion. Okay, so like Sebastian is our rivals to lovers. Go and find Gareth is puzzles. our friends to lovers. Ominous is our. Uh, I don't know if he considered to be our enemies to lovers. He didn't like us in the beginning. I studied with Sam Sunset and smelled it in the underground. I found something. Oh my god, how convenient. Sebastian sends me an owl. I want to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Where did I go? That's a fucking lie. I didn't know you could uh, constantly reset the little cube. So once you help yourself to that one platform, reset it to then pull it to the other platform. I, I sometimes I question how I'm in Ravenclaw. Potions is dull and charms is dire. Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. Okay, peeps. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I have a fluff. Ravenclaw guy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like to have my own. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Yes, for a fee. Fuck no. She she's the one that told me. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. And You're my second favorite hero! Oh, thanks. I was like, she showed me the fucking place. Why would I be like, nah, for a fee? She told me about the place. <laughs> anyway, that must mean... Where's the hats? Because that was part of the girl's outfit. Here, in his cap. Ew. Does she have a cloak? Here, Dina's attire. Here, Dina looking like, um, Robin Hood? Quidditch robes. Did Here, Dina had it? Yeah. Okay. Ew, where's my. Thank you. I was like, what the fuck? I wish, like, I had a robe that looks nice with my outfit. I guess technically this. But I kind of prefer without it, because my cute little sleeves. Alright. Sebastian down here I never went down here and I'm gonna stay not going down there because Sebastian first <laughs> Sebastian quest first the boathouse has a very sentimental value for me where one of my professors <sighs> left How oh, nice to see you my young friend he's downstairs Oh, at the undergrove. Undercroft, not undergrove. That like makes hella noise, so how does no one ever like catch them? Sebastian? Just chilling. You'll never believe what I've What did you discover in the spell book we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I regret using Crucio. I agree we did what we had to. I didn't use Crucio. Sebastian used Crucio on me. <laughs> I agree we did what we had to, though. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Are you sure we shouldn't tell him? I mean, obviously Ominous is gonna be like, no, 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 you guys can't do it, no. 
Because, you know, he's not into dark magic. Uh, okay, I will say a word. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Okay, Sebastian. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. <coughs> Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. <sighs> you swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. The fuck was that? Was that the book vanishing? Um... I am not letting this go. Oh, something told me I should have, should have just said we should tell him. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. What? What happened? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. They died what a in horrible fire? story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. <laughs> I don't know. This is harder than a damn visual novel. Um... It's giving him hope, though, but it is concerning. Because I don't think dark magic will help Anne. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. I'll tell you right now. He's going to do it right now. It would now. mean a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck. I don't like this love triangle I'm stuck in. Are you going to be okay over here, Ominous? Are you going to be fine? Okay. Oh, awkward. Was he about to go in there? Okay, now we can go here. Am I tracking the damn quest? I can't tell. Damn, this is a great hall when everybody's here to eat. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. They copy pasta these NPCs, or is, do we just got two blondies that we have twins? <laughs> Man, this food looks good. Anyway, getting distracted. Students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun. Uh, shut up, Peavesy. <laughs> It's so great. <gasps> it's you. Thank you again for finding our gobstones. I never could have done it myself. This courtyard or something? Everybody is chilling on it.
Rebellion. I was about to say, no one's down here? There's this Gryffindor. Excuse me. This is Leander. I don't think so. Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for Damn, a swim. Damn, no one, no Goodness one knows how no. to swim either. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people. What the hell well, does that mean? Not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Wands Club. Yes, of course. We did. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. Um, yeah, sure. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Um, sure, I can help well, you. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? She could swim. Oh, thank you. I really mean, I thank really. you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Okay. Well, that one's not... I can't so wait to hear about course. what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Confringo! This boathouse. Sadness. It's cool how there's like eerie music and everything. Oh, it's all the way over there, bro. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most please. I mean, I guess it's technically easy since it's like right there. Ah. <laughs> I don't like the water though. But um this is where I'm going to stop for today's episode because I do have to go get ready for dinner. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I don't know how much of the store we're into. I'm assuming we're like a third there though because we're on the third trial now. I can only assume there's four trials for the four professors. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Um stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next